Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you guys loot from 10 hours of Wilderness Ents. Now I'm using my main account this time. Uh, the reason for this is because in the Wilderness the drops are doubled and uh, you also have a 15% chance uh, to chop more logs due to having the diaries done for the Wilderness. So the goal for this video is to get as many logs as possible, preferably magic and new logs. We want to see as many as those as we can and hopefully run into some PKers. That is why the gear choice for this video is very similar to any anti-PKing setup that you guys have seen on the channel recently and uh, this is right outside Corporal Beast Cave. North of the Chaos Temple is where this is considered for this Ent location with a spawn of six Ents being here. There's one other location that's east of the Chaos Temple that uh, spawns four of them. That's kind of near Hill Giants. Back in the old days that's where everyone PK'd at in Multi Wilderness. And then there's one other location which is a safe location to kill these Ents, and that is in the Woodcutting Guild Ent Dungeon. There's a spawn of 23 in there, and they're also level 86 combat, so they're easier to kill. And if you check in the link in the description below, I actually killed 3,000 of those Ents on my Iron Man many years ago. So it's nice to do two Ent videos to kind of compare the loot uh, versus doing them in the guild compared to the Wilderness, and it is also more fun in the Wilderness, I must say, and much more profitable due to getting double the logs per chop. These Ents came out June 2nd, 2016. Uh, they were added to the woodcutting guild and of course you could see them in the wilderness at this point I was using a crystal axe, but if you don't have access to one of these then you can of course bring a dragon axe uh, Dragon axe is so cheap in price these days that I think it's just a little bit more expensive than runes So feel free to bring that unless you, of course you're an Iron Man account and the risk for this video was very minimal um, I was seeing a lot of people running in and out of the corp caves. I'll be honest I think it was mainly green dragon bots uh, most of this video, but there were occasions Occasionally PKers, occasionally clue scrollers, and people that were, I assume, killing Vedion and Callisto. I would see so many people just running in and out of this cave, and I was also trying to hop worlds every couple of hours just to see if I could run into any PKers, since I assumed that this is a pretty popular spot for any PKer to kind of teleport to and then make their way to wherever they're going to be PKing at. It's kind of their starting position here. So I was ready with that Dark Bow and Ancient God Sword. Definitely wasn't planning on scrolling up, but you never know. We're going to just wait and see if we can actually find anyone else killing ends with us too maybe we'll go ahead and spec them out but for now, let's go ahead and price check the very first hour that we spent at Ents. Uh, I think this was my greatest hour of all time because I was paying the most attention. I wasn't on two accounts during this first hour. I usually am never actually using two accounts during the first hour of any video because of the, you know, concentration required. But yes, yeah, 700k in the very first hour and two bird nests. That is with zero interruptions, uh, diary bonus, as well as double logs, as well as 99 woodcutting. I think the only thing that I did didn't have on was the max cape at this point, which I think in result would just get me more bird nests. I don't think it would make me chop any faster. But that's not bad. Now we know it's a base price of 700k an hour. And I'll be honest, doing a little bit of research before this video, I was trying to find out, you know, who actually kills these ints. I think it's safe to say some Iron Man accounts do the woodcutting guild ints just because it's very good magic logs. It's not as AFK, of course, but it's really just consistent logs per hour for fletching or fire making, whatever you want to do, birdhouse runs, etc. And then it's seems to me that the only people that kill Ents in the wilderness are the very few minority that uh, actually don't skip their Ent task when they get it assigned from Wilderness Slayer. And then you have the majority, which is the Botters. Now these Ent woodcutting bots I'm sure you guys have seen in Sir Pugger's video. I actually saw a couple during the making of this video. I think I got one on uh, recording where I was right clicking them and kind of showing their gear choice and woodcutting level. But before we get back to that, let us show this PKer trying to kill me. Level 109 right outside this Corporal Beast Cave, and as you can see, I was not having it. I was venging up, and I was trying my best to kind of time the Ancient God Sword spec right. He was using an Armadil God Sword, so I knew I had to be careful, and uh, yeah, I was just really excited, honestly, because I was like two, three hours into the video, and uh, my very first PKer, and I really wanted to kill this guy. I would get really incredible loot. As you can see, the spec was doing work there. His prayer switching was pretty good. I really wish I had a Ballista for this encounter. I feel like every time I bring the Dark Bow, it's like the worst timing ever 
because this guy was such low HP most of this fight, and I feel like if I just would have got one good Venge and one good Ballista hit, he would have been dead. But as you can see, he is just clearly tanking, and it always amazes me that, you know, most of the most of this fight I wasn't really praying overheads, and I actually could have died a few times, but, uh, you know, I'm an anti-PK or just kind of killing Ents, and it seems like sometimes my DPS is better than the actual PKers trying to kill players. That's why I like anti-PKing so much more than regular PKing, because uh, these guys are geared up with so many different sets in their inventory and probably just a couple brews, and then you have me with plenty of food, plenty of potions, and uh, ample opportunity to uh, kill someone. But yeah, he did get away, unfortunately. It would have been a really good PK, and I was actually hoping that he would come back. I was trying to, like, stay in my clan chat in case he wanted to scout me or scout my world, but unfortunately, he did not come back at all. And here we are four hours into the video, almost 2,500 magic logs, so we can already assume that we're going to get well over 5,000 by hour 10. Woodcutting XP is unfortunately really bad here. I think I started the video with 50.9 mil, and I don't even think I got to 51 mil by the end of the video, which means I didn't even get 100k XP in 10 hours. Pretty strange that it's such bad XP. And here's the current state of East Dragons. Looks like there's about 8 to 10 bots in every single world hovering around the combat level of 65 to 85. For extra clips for this video, I was gonna go, you know, consider PKing and killing anyone who's at, like, PVMing locations that isn't a bot, but after copying worlds, uh, I realized that mostly everybody's a bot, so, you know, it's pretty crazy. Something that I didn't think was necessary for this video, but I did anyway, was I used a bond on my level 80 account, and I brought it to this location, and I brought it a little bit west, so it was safe away from the Ents, but I could still see every Ent and anyone who would be near here. And I promise you guys, I hopped every Every single world, it took me about an hour, maybe two, and uh, I patiently waited there like a minute per world, and I'll be honest, there was not a single player in this location on that account. So using an alt to kind of scout and see if there was any other PVMers, even botters, um, yeah, to my surprise, there was zero. I mean, I did this video on a Monday and Tuesday, so maybe that had uh, an impact, maybe most botters are on the weekends, I feel like. It's always been a rumor that bots don't get banned on weekends, so I, mean, I don't know if that's true or not, but if it is, that would make sense as to why I saw virtually none. I did look up that level 88 standing right next to me, and he was only 82 woodcutting, but you can kind of see the gear choice that he used, and I've seen that in Sir Pugger's video where he was discussing the crazy amount of int bots back in the day anyway. I say back in the day, it could have been a month ago for all I remember, but uh, either way, that was like the only bot that I found. Yeah, I saw maybe two more that logged out out really quickly but they were both 80 combat as well so it seems to me that those green dragon bots are probably making like 500k to 700k an hour and as you guys saw here the end profit is pretty much the same like 500 to 700k per hour if you're higher wood cutting so if you think about that it really makes sense that these botters are devoting strictly their 80 combat accounts to making this money per hour 500 to 700k it really made me start thinking you know i guess that's the combat level that they accept that amount of gp per hour when they run a bot farm maybe if they are running a a level 100 plus account, they're going to be sticking with something much, much more profitable, which really makes you think how much GP comes to the game at the end of the day. Well, about one minute after this guy in Enchanted said, nice videos, Mr. No Sleep. Uh, unfortunately, he called his clan, which were just a little bit north of Edeon, and they all ran down as fast as they could, because I kid you not, this, this literally happened a second or so after he said that. And yeah, I died. They weren't toxic at all, as you can see. They were pretty nice about it, so that's okay. I, I mean, I just really didn't expect to die at an int video, of all things. I lost my max cape, so there goes half of all of our profit for this video. Nine Nine hours in that death uh you know close to hour eight was so painful i was uh i was okay with like three guys attacking me maybe i could kill one of them and then i'd die but yeah i was just way outnumbered there almost got smited as well so i'm gonna have to be careful next time looking at my inventory i'm not sure why i brought a pickaxe with me but you know maybe a uh, anti pk weapon you never know but here we are left uh with just one more inventory to do honestly as you can see we got a decent amount of bird nests close to 15 of those and overall this was a pretty laid back experience. I was able to multi-log the whole time. Um, I'm going to be releasing 10 hours of Cave Horrors on the Iron Man account actually later today. So you guys are going to get two videos for the price of one, whatever that means. But uh, yeah, I was supposed to upload this last night and I fell asleep way too early. So yeah, I'm so mad about that. So yeah, you guys are going to get two videos. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Didn't really get anything from the bird nest, guys. I got two seeds that aren't worth pretty much anything compared to what they used to be. Whatever happened to the days of papaya tree seeds being 75 5k now i think they're like 
5k. Anyway, overall loot from 10 hours of Wilderness Ends, 6 mil GP exactly. Looks like our 700k an hour went down to 600k an hour on average. I can see why bots do it. There's virtually no PKers killing them, and I'm sure there's like no one reporting them, but I wouldn't see any reason for a main to be doing this. Uh, maybe look at the Woodcutting Guild Ends if you're really looking to kill these things. But other than that, that's it for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.